any word of advice for your daughters one day when they have teenagers? Good. Good luck. luck. <laughs> Hi, I am Kyler Lee. And I'm Andy McDowell. And we are one, one hell of a scary, scary mommy. mommy. <laughs> the way home is all about time travel. If you could go back in time, where would you go and why? And who would you hope to meet? Well, there's so many things I'd like to do. My mother died when I was 23. Mm -hmm. And I would love to be able to go back and say all the things, of course, I wouldn't have thought of saying as a child, you know, just to be able to say, you're so beautiful. I love that. Thank you. I love that. You know what I think would be kind of fun is to go to like the 20s, mm -hmm. like the flapper vibe. I don't know why I'm doing this because yes. I don't think it was really oh, time should. appropriate. Yes. Mm. But yes. <laughs> Get off that corset and go out and dance. Do you know Rock what I mean? it. Yes. Honestly, I don't want to wear corsets to tell you the truth. <laughs> so I would join you. I think the 20s would be a lot of fun. We would tear up the town. If your kids went back in time and met you as a teenager, what would surprise them most? How much time <laughs> I spent in detention. Oh dear. I left high school early too, so it was That's great. I wouldn't want them to hang out with me in high school. Mm -mm. Kyler and I had a similar existence, I think. Yeah. Andy, your daughters are actors. Mm -hmm. So what advice did you give them when they started their careers? I told them to watch everything, to watch movies so that they could understand what it was and be articulate about it and know what they like so they could, you know, make their own decisions for themselves, what they wanted to do. How do you relate to your character on the way home? I have eerie similarities to my character. My mother and I have a very strange relationship. I haven't spoken to her in 20 years. Mm. And so the fact that our characters didn't speak for 20 years was pretty wild. The ferocity that she has in, in loving her daughter so, so much. Mm. My children are my everything. That would probably be the biggest similarity. I'm much funnier than my character. Just because you came home doesn't mean we pick up right where we left off. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> you have been called a silver-haired goddess. I call you a goddess all the time. Can you tell us what inspired you to embrace your silver hair? Mm -hmm. What has that journey been like in the public eye? Well, I wanted to do it sooner. I don't know, I was, it was a time that I was looking forward to earlier in my life. I didn't have my mother to look, I, my, I look a lot like my father too. I just always thought he was so handsome. So a lot of men became my inspiration because I started looking online trying to figure out what other actresses were silver. And there weren't There's not many. many. Yeah. There weren't many. I think there, there are more, now more people are doing it, but it was a time I was really looking forward to. And of course I was terrified because I sell hair color. Right. <laughs> I'm so grateful that I did it. I'm much more comfortable. I like not having to pretend anymore. I'm so tired. Yeah. You know, I'm 65. Brad Pitt said he was old and nobody complained, but I am old. I'm old. That's what I am. And I just don't have any time to waste yeah. pretending yeah. that I'm not what mm -hmm. I am. It is so inspiring. I feel like you just, you glow. Oh, I appreciate All that. the time. But oh, you know good. I have like the biggest crush in the whole world <laughs> on you, so it's not a secret. <laughs> right, no, it's true. Oh, you're so sweet, Kyler. In the show, Alice and Team Cat become close friends. What does it mean to be friends with your kids? Do you want to keep the distinction between friend and parent? Mm. You know, I struggled with that for a while. Yeah. Because I kept trying to be the parent and they do not like that. I do this horrible thing. I'm absolutely awful. As soon as I see them, I'm checking their face like like a like a, an animal, you know. Oh, like I yeah, do, and then yeah. I realize I'm doing it. Now I might immediately go, "Your lips are chapped." Just to be the first thing I'll say. Right. I was still just doing the mother. Yeah. And then I had to learn how to be the friend. Right. Yeah. Mine are still, you know, they're, they're babies, younger. Yeah. yeah. I still definitely have to be mother. Oh, for but, sure. You know, yeah. at the same time, I I do want to be a friend. I played Never Have I Ever with Margaret over Christmas. Oh, I know. Why? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Without giving any spoilers, what was your favorite scene to film for season two? We shot that one scene on the beach with me and the new guy. He didn't want to go in the water. I wanted to go in the water because yeah. it looked beautiful. Yeah. And I just ran straight past him and splashed him. So I'm hoping it's in there. I don't know if it's going to be in there or not. Oh, I'm I'm yeah sure. It was fun. I do know. It was fun. Well, I guess it's time to say goodbye. goodbye. Thank you, Scary Mommy. See you later. Ciao.